Are you the kind of person who really gets invested in things? For example, like a good TV show where from the start you are hooked. In the beginning, everything is so gripping. The story thrills you as you explore this huge world of possibilities. The stakes are high and the action is a reward. Every decision that is made has an impact on the overall story and you just can't imagine how this show is going to get any better. But then about two-thirds in, something happens in that same show you once loved just now sucks. And who has a better story than Bran the Broken? I just hate when things look so promising and fail to deliver on the initial hype. And since we're talking about things promising to deliver on some big claims, have you tried printing with Quiddy's PLA Rapido filament? I just can't see how this would fail to deliver on any sort of promise and leave me with any lingering regrets. This... Sucks. So I waited till the last second to start printing a project. Time was not on my side, and if college had taught me anything, I should have probably started a lot earlier. But to my surprise, the Quiddy PLA Rapido filament seemed to be the answer to my procrastination. This filament claimed to bring together speed of rapid printing with quality parts. With print speeds of 400 millimeters a second, you could get the Benchy Bow in 14 minutes. Do people really only print standard PLA at 80 millimeters a second on their machine? Anyway, the filament settings only required a higher hot end of 200 degrees Celsius and a quicker print speed of 200 to 400 millimeters a second. You had to use a fan for cooling and a bed temperature of 30 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. So this seemed easy enough and PLA Rapido, dare I say, seemed pretty simple. I'll see you tonight when I go to bed in my head movies. But this head movie makes my eyes rain. <laughs> Consumers say it's great for speed. So we're going all in on the default settings that Quiddy has loaded into the machine. No brakes, all gas. That's the motto now. You know, I'm still getting a three hour and 40 minute print time. That's like a whole Lord of the Rings movie. You know, people kept saying it's reliable, works quite well, prints at 300 millimeters a second with great adhesion. So my first print failed. That was way too fast. I lost all adhesion to the bed plate. But boy did my printer howl. Is it supposed to make those sounds? We're now increasing the hot end temperature to 220 degrees Celsius and we're going to decrease the speed to 230. Uh, I have a really good feeling about this one. They say this filament just prints like a dream. Oh, come on. So the second collar just failed. At least that's the worst thing that could happen, right? Oh, look, the layer's not even melted. Cool, cool, cool. We're just going to go on to the next. This thing's just moving quicker than Diddy fleeing the U.S. They say to go fast, but my printer's not happy with me. Is this supposed to be broken? You know, this was supposed to be easy. I think they're just laughing at me while Quiddy just takes my money to the bank. PLA Rapido, their slogan should be, yeah, it prints something, just not your part. Am I really saving time here? Who asked for this filament? Really, Patrick? Nothing bad to say? Even I could think of a few words right now. So, after a few failures, a complete reboot, and a firmware restart, 
I could really use a win right now, Quiddy. Holy crap! <laughs> So to answer the main question, yes, you can print fast with this filament, but did I save time? Probably not. I had a lot of failures where the filament was not properly melting or heating to the previous layer. To get my parts actually printed, I ended up decreasing the print speed, but I kept a fast travel speed and quality and speed don't mix well together, so they usually affect each other. I had poor quality with the top layers, peeling and strings, supports were not easily removed. Overall, my grade, unless I'm doing something wrong, which could be the case here, but I would give it a very mid to average grade and I would prefer regular PLA or just slow down this one to get a decent quality. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Thank you all for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss a video. I hope you had a laugh, enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment below. Check out my links, which are listed in the description. I hope your 3D printing turns out awesome, and I'll see you all in the next video.